Some small glimmers of hope on the job front here in Georgia. The very latest numbers showing fewer people filed for unemployment last week than the week before. And that is little comfort, though, to many people still struggling right now. Tracy Emick Pier is live on the 17th Street Bridge to tell us about an industry that has been hit particularly hard. Tracy. That's right, the trucking industry supplies one out of every 14 jobs in our state. So when it takes a hit, the effects are far reaching. And when trucking companies have layoffs and also furloughs, it's not just affecting the drivers of trucks. I was very shocked. Um, I got worried. I didn't know what was going on. Just with the pandemic in general, everything is so uncertain. Brianna Brown worked in freight sales at a trucking company, an industry hit hard by this pandemic. In fact, according to our partners at the Atlanta Business Chronicle, across the state, trucking companies are currently reporting between a 10 to 15 percent drop in the number of loads being hauled across the state for April. That's significant when the state's trucking sector typically hauls about 80 percent of the freight that moves throughout Georgia in a year. So while working from home in mid-March, she found herself without a job. And they called an emergency conference call and just let us know that at this time our department would be furloughed um, until further notice. Furloughed after working for almost two years at SIA, the fourth largest trucking company in the state. She says she filed for unemployment in April, but after a few weeks of getting checks, they stopped coming in this week. Due to the fact that now my company has filed for us and the Georgia Department of Labor has told me that there's nothing that they can do anymore until our company submits the claim, then they can pay us. She's a single mom, so she's taking this time to help her daughter with schoolwork. But she says she can't just go find another job. Our job did let us know that though if we do file, find another job, then that would be our resignation from the company. So she'll bide her time and hope after this open-ended furlough, there's a job to go back to. There is a chance that we may not return, um, then that would just be called a reduction in workforce. Now, it's hard to know when things will get better for the trucking industry. Of course, once businesses and restaurants are operating at full capacity, things should get better. But industry experts predict they will still see losses into 2021.